Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 using the Bible let alone DLC, but we're playing as Germany. Now I played as Italy quite a few times in the time of this recording. Even Ethiopia once, maybe even twice. Um, as well as Switzerland. But I'd want to try out Germany just because, you know, everything happens around the Germans and whatnot, and they seem like a same seem like a fun group to play as, just because you can. And it gives me time to just kind of explore what else is going on with the DLC and try out the planes and See how devastating we can make our planes really as well, so. Oh, uh, we can send some guys at least here. And we just re-militarize the Rhineland, but the Rhineland's been demilitarized since the end of the Great War, of course. But then Celestial stand no longer. Germany's a sovereign nation and its freedom of troops anywhere within our borders, of course. Uh, we could do the common term pact. We do need to do Anschluss as fast as possible, so. At least beat them out. Uh, here. Let's go there. No one cares, right? Uh, just do that. We'll make you as thick as we can for your plan. I usually like doing that one. But then, yeah, I like army innovations as well. Daily... Army XP gains, not bad. Armor, division, attack, and defense, though. Ooh. Uh, but I do want that research slot, but I do want to get down here. Treaty with the USSR, so we get that KV-1 variant, or just, you know, whatever we can get, so. Or maybe just a four-year plan. We need an ambitious plan to provide for the rearmament and ultimate self-sufficiency of the nation. This should be achieved within the next four years, of course. But with all this extra political power, if you know me, I always get, first among equals, heavy fighter airborne. That's not bad. Plus 50% political power, I like a lot. I always get political power just because it's so good to get. We love PP. Nice. And now we get 1.73, not bad. Uh, we can send some planes, just a little bit. Air XP. Um, how many can we send? Two wings. Uh, probably not fighters, just bomb the crap out of them. Oh, over here, that'd be great. And go boom, 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 boom. Uh, is that too much for the air base? That's fine. Send these guys down here. All good then. Nice. Ooh. Well, they can deal with that. Where are they helping them out? Hey, we're already two. Nice, look at that, it's going up. I like it when it goes up. Increase trade, I always do this. Sometimes it's just a waste of political power, but I'll do it anyways, because we can. And you guys go right there. We need quite a few more guns, but what else is new, you know? We're gonna try to get more planes, focus really a lot on planes for this campaign. Um, just to see what it's like, see if we can maximize how much planes we can currently have. Uh, and you guys go there because we have a little bit more there. For your plan, autarky, I like to do next because I don't want to get civvies as fast as possible. For Germany to be truly great, it must be self-sufficient. We must make better use of our resources and become more efficient in our construction. Which is very true. In the meantime, we got to make a couple subs, maybe a destroyer two. I don't know. I don't know what the meta is in the time it's recording for the ships or navy. So we'll see. Uh, trade sign, do that too. Cancel the bills. You know what? We could keep doing this. You know what? Make a melee two. August 4th, that's not bad. We'll make a million in the city at the same time. Uh, oh, also, I didn't tell you, but we are just fighting against Poland because... Because we can. Quite literally, just because we can. And I'll take him out. I know I said this is going to be historical, but, you know... I never said it's going to be super historical. Um, so... I'll talk to you. Yes, please. Oh, hello. Also, with the... Hitler has been modified a little bit as well. He get weekly war support from combat casualties, more political power like normal, and they have modified the desired divisions factor, so that's not bad. Uh, Captain of Ministry, it's not bad. I always, I, I always get like Rudolf Hess or whoever, just so get, just PP, just so good. Just so good. Keep it nice and dispersed. Because you can. Autarchy, heaven going verka. Of course, we want to get that extra research slot quickly, too. We must rid ourselves of the fickle influence of private capitalists. Therefore, we will form an industrial conglomerate under our control to oversee growth in the mining and steel sectors, as this will form the backbone of our military industry. I love Rudolf Hess, so now we get two political power day. We do want to go to war, kind of me. Uh, we'll go with mobile warfare as well. Um, 200 versus 50. This changed. This used to be 250. More max speed is not bad either. Addiction. Um. Oh, we go right there. That'd be great. Get all up in that action there. Oh, we do a lot of damage. Oh, there goes the Darn it. And we got those tank chests because that'll be good for later. So we do want to focus a lot on tanks. Radio, yes, please. Some of that as well. And now National Spain is going to do their thing too. Oh. Are they not at the war? Can I recall divisions? Um, maybe not. Oh. Okay then. Are you still are you literally still at war with them? 
You shouldn't be, but whatever. Sucks, bro. Well, we might not get those divisions back for a long time. Alright, so what can we send to these guys? Two out of 400. Okay. And... Yeah, he's coming up here. Um, actually, I would have sent you home. Actually, let's do this whole home. Close air support come here. Let's do that. Give me a thing of fighters. We're going to need them. I don't know which one's better. Air superiority versus interception. I'm going to go with interception because I think it's just it's slightly cheaper fuel-wise, but I could be wrong. Medium tanks, huh? Well, I want to wait until we get the actual like variants, and then we just use the variants. I'll try to use nice stuff. Code look of faction would be nice too, but Katie have Voggins. We will allow our citizens to purchase their own future people's car through a saving scheme, which in will in turn we'll use to finance the construction of the factories that will eventually contribute in building these cars. It's not to love. Which man do we have in the field right now? Not enough. That's always the answer. Never enough manpower. Riddell can have them for now. Hines. Fine. Actually, are you an old guard? Really quick connect, connected, but it's only 10%, so it's not terrible. There you go. Aggressive assaulter? Sure. Why not? Sure. Why not? You guys. Oh, look at that. And I got a heavy piece of two. Nice. Sure. Why not? Boeing. Oh, this guy. Don't want to forget about this, so. Can just go and get. I always do this one because I just love just chucking stuff. Because you know, here you can't get Torpedo Expert, and I like the hit chance. As much a chance as possible. More games. We love games. Who doesn't love, get, love games? Crazy people, that's who. Industry. I want more army XP at this point. Modell, where are you? Nice. Build, 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 build. Yeah, just keep building. First, nice. Um, 36 cannons would be nice, but it's a bit too ahead of time. Uh, I'm just gonna this as well. Not bad. There, it's gonna take forever with this stuff though, but it's, he's gonna learn a lot, hopefully. I'll put some someone else. Need more command power, which sucks. But since we're here, Browship would be very nice. Offense, 0.3 a day. Organization overall is really good, though. Um, we don't have the command part. We almost have it, though. More attack. Organization is good for attack and defense. Oh. There we go. Oh, I never do Kaito. And supply. Striking power, artillery in the attack. Eight percent more organizations. What? Maybe ten percent. So you get like maybe less than ten. You get less than two. Ten percent more of that's five. Fifty-five. That's not much more attack. But then you get this over here too, in the near attack, whatever. Uh, it's not a huge amount of difference. Go with raw attack. Why not? That should help out at least a little bit, right? Right. Um. Any other closer air bases? Maybe not. Do that. So I'm as best you can. Shoot up at least a little bit. Nice. Nice. Keep building, 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 building. Works if they're nice. I'll go with extra research slot too, because five is always nice. You don't need five, but five is pretty good. Our industrial expansion, another recent advances might allow us to conduct more RD in parallel. Army innovations. That's good area. And other radical theorists are pushing for new daring doctrines and emphasizing communication, identification of a schwerpunkt, and local concentrations of combined armed forces. Getting the free range might help avoid the migraine horrors of the Great War. Antrus? Could we do Antrus like really fast if we did that? What if we did that? Who would we be with this? We would be closer. Authorities in Switzerland have announced uh, David Frankfurter will have confessed to the killings of the Nazi foreign party organization in Davos. We'll have a fair and balanced trial under ground bund laws like any other murder case. 
Considering Gustav was an official or an officer of the Nazi party and our influence over our defenseless neighbor, we can send a lawyer to represent Gustav's widow and push for our ideal outcome. In this way, we can ensure his punishment is befitting his crime, speaking more pragmatically. This calls for the Swiss Confederation to take a side, finally breaking that flimsy facade and neutrality they've always liked to boast about. No need to intervene. She deserves justice? No need to intervene. Ah, uh, that's probably not historical. Yeah, that's, that's not historical at all, but whatever. Uh, in the meantime... There we go. Good luck. Uh, I'm gonna take you two. I'm gonna help defend that area. I don't want to lose all of Prussia, so we'll see. You guys better hurry up over here, though. Or not, you know, whatever. My ship's repairing, not enough. He sends his prison. The Swiss Confederation has a give, has a gall to give the paltry 18 year sentence to Gustav Killer. It's unfortunate. We're going to push much harsher for a more punitive sense. I thought it's going to inflame the cause for a boycott of the Olympics. For now, we can just make Gustav a martyr of the German Reich and use the murder for propaganda. Maybe in a future invasion, we could get hold of Frankfurt and have our justice. We will not forget this. He was number one. Vacuum backstabber. Prince of Terror, I like Heinrich here. Goebbels, that's not bad too. Funk. Daily fascism support. Huh? Here's might be good to do. You know what? I could grab him, but we're, I don't know. I never grab him. What funk? 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 Move MFO bells. Oopsie! See what we can do here. It's just an early war against these guys, that's all. Oh wow, they're forcing defense. That was not smart. Very much not smart. Ooh. I think with a thing. Uh crap. I always like IG Fobbin. They're a pretty good group. Uh, Rommel is definitely what we want here too. Infantry attack and defense would be pretty nice, but we'll see. I'm gonna wait for that one too. Uh Goring, air superiority. Yeah, we're gonna go for air superiority. Oh, we got the boys back. That's one way to do it. Um, capital ship armor, yes, please. Whoa! Whoa! There you go. Well, they're definitely trying to beat us up. We've lost 13,000 versus 70,000, so that's not bad overall. That's pretty good for MXP2, so. And I want to maximize cast as much as possible, so dive bombing, yes, please. Fair veterans. I'm not sure that's the best one to do now. Yeah, I got one anyways, because you can. Right, so six, almost 37. Some of that. Tarno. There you go. Cut him off. Better hold up there. Is there a heroism? Ah, yes. Oh, you get war bonds early? Heck yeah. Jaeger not problem? Or oh, program? Yeah, we could if we really wanted to. Ah, I think it'll be good. Good, so good, so good. Ah, oh, the encircled. Very nice. As it should be. Ball of Warsaw. Beautiful. And now we're out of fuel. Radio is not bad. Radar is pretty good to get too. Radom. They're just going to be murdering their own divisions like this. But I'm sure we really want to use tanks to push, but you know we don't have them that many yet. That'd be nice. Um, what else do we want? It's 37. Industry is always good to get to. I always use that one, so let's go with crop. I'll go with crop, why not? Just a normal taking pulling out early camping, you know. There we go. 
We grew their navy. It's not worth much. We're, we're only we're only ones here. I could have done something else differently, but you know whatever. I don't really care. So now we got a long Switzerland border. Or Switzerland? Check border. You guys can go back too. So now how many divisions can we send? Three. Not bad. Take you two out. Taking you out to dinner, that's what I mean. Alright. 400, two wings of that much in total. Well, welcome back. And we didn't get very much from these guys. But hey, their level 3 subs are better than our level 1 subs. So, well, in theory at least. Nice. Good, 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 good. Good, and... Good. Blaskovitz, I always use him because he's pretty good too. Nice, and welcome back. Long time, no see. Oh, where do we want to do some damage? Down here, maybe? Companies demand MEFO payments. With that area in the Liberty Civil War, the companies have issued MEFO bills who are now pushing for us to issue payments. They claim there's no longer any necessity with all payments for the good of the fatherland. Very well. Which sucks, but you know what? It's a small price to pay. I got that extra research slot. We're going to Anschluss as well. With Anschluss sort of union with Austria, it's a long held goal of the German people. Although forbidden by the Treaty of Versailles, the time is finally coming to bring it about. Let us offer the Austrians a chance of sharing a glorious uh, destiny, which would be great. Um, research Eastern claims, which we kind of already did, which probably ought to bypass. If we don't need that, please go right ahead, maybe. Improve the national spirit, of course. Demand Slovenia. Demand the Sudeten land. Befriend them. We're going to demand it, because I never go down befriend them. Faith of the Sudet Germans was one of the worst injustices inflicted by the Treaty of Versailles. They must be brought under protection regardless of check objections. Uh, naval rearmament. The Anglo German naval agreement secured in 1935 allows us to expand our navy greatly. We should spare no effort in doing so. And then I want to line these guys as fast as possible, too. Grand Wirtschafts. Um, gr oh, Gross Grand Wirtschaft. We must prepare Germany for its destiny as a centerpiece of Europe. Our infrastructure will bind us with the west and the east, and the south with the north. I'll line Hungary. Hungary is already in our sphere of influence, but we could easily sway them further to our way of thinking, making them even more easily manipulable in the future. I'll line Romania. Romania is already in our sphere of influence, of course, but we could easily sway them to our way of thinking, making them even more manipulable in the future, and integrate the war economies. The nations in our sphere of influence have grown to extreme economic dependencies on us. We can use this to increase our control over the economies and our influence on foreign policies. As we will, of course, get coal localization. Germany is lacking in oil, and we must redouble our efforts in the field of synthetic oil. We're treated with the USSR. We can pursue a new research treaty with the Soviet Union in order to develop chiefly better tanks. If they agree, we can reopen the tanks school we closed down in Kama in 1933. Soviet cooperation will, of course, mean that they too will benefit from the innovations and made. And here though. we are at everybody, in which we've already taken a little bit of Czechoslovakia, but now we're demanding Slovenia because we're totally historical here. The Treaty of Saint Germain and Lai, or Germain and Lai, saw many historical Austrian territories pass out to successor states, with Austria once again united with the German nation. It's time to end these injustices. Historic province of Carniola and Steria, which are now known as Slovenia, must be brought home, of course. Um, air innovations too, which wouldn't be bad, but you know, whatever, not super needed. Army innovations to be natural, the land doctrine, the coal, the coal, the pack would be good as well. So, we're gonna try to get these two next Gross Around Vest Shop and the London Surrender. And now, triumph for daring in action, Slovenia, soon to be renamed Carinolia or Carniola, has returned to the Red Stripe home, home in the German Reich. Very nice, the London Conference. So we'll get these two as well, and then we'll do the first Vienna War. The Hungarians were one of the people that was ever the worst out of the Great War. In the slaughter of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, many Hungarians were stranded on foreign soil through their ancestors that lived there for ages. We could greatly improve our relations with the Hungarians by awarding them some territories from Czechoslovakia. And the fate of Czechoslovakia. The time has come to divide old Czech lands between those who can govern them properly. We should also consider the consideration of a separate Slovak puppet state to the east. And first, Ljubljan Award. The hypocritical Western powers breached self national determination while handling over many minorities to be ruled by over the Serbs. We're in a position to right that historic wrong and make friends at the same time. For those who wish to side with us in the European order, we can be very, very true. Fate of Yugoslavia. The Yugoslav state was always an artificial construct, and central authorities started to collapse. We must step in and restore order. The only question we face is what would be the best way to do this, of course. Um, the fate of Yugoslavia as we're doing the fate of Czechoslovakia. We've always knew that the Yugoslav state carved out of the Habsburg Empire was an artificial country fated never to last. The ethnic resentment simmering under that surface has boiled over, and the state's falling apart. We must step in and rectify the situation, of course. Um, annex all of Yugoslavia. We just should have annexed them. They get no say, apparently. Make a Croatian puppet annex a rest. Um, I can pull this up about the Croatian Yugoslavia. Yeah, let's see what happens. They refuse. They get a war goal against them, which would be nice. 
And they're both guaranteed by these people, which is fine. Honestly, I don't really care too much. Um, which I wish we could do, but you know, whatever. We're gonna give it a little bit more time. Uh, we can do that as well. Whose independence are they guaranteed by? So we're gonna keep going down this way. Fetish Slovakia, Danzig or War. Operation Vesa Ubung. Well, obviously we're not doing this. We could do Danzig or War, but I'm surprised that's not already done. We'll do that anyways. How much manpower do we have in the field? We're getting close to the required amount. Actually, we already have there. Um, Danzig was German, Danzig has remained German, and Danzig shall be German from now on. If Poland does not see the territory, we must prepare the German people for the inevitable war. Danzig and the surrounding lands will return to Germany. Around the Maginot. You know. If we want to ensure a tactical advantage against France, we need to be able to hit them from all sides. We will not expect an attack from the north, which will be exactly where we hit them from. Once we dispose of a few obstacles, of course. Um, Bessa Ubung would be nice, too, but... Um, Denmark is, or Norway actually, as a critical strategic point would be an obvious point of attack for any enemy wanting to disrupt our steel trade with Sweden. We cannot risk our enemy sitting on bases in this region. To obtain a good, good staging area for the invasion of Norway, we must first on to Denmark first, and war with France. Now that Germany's found a satisfactory solution to the question of her eastern border for now, it's time to turn our attention west. The loss of alsace lorraine is a stain on the honor of the German people, and only through a just and righteous war we can avenge this. Ah, uh, yes, it's September 1st, 1939, the fateful day in which Germany invaded uh, the, the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah, they invaded the Netherlands in 1939. You heard it here first. Um, we just got rid of some of their natural spirits, but we should do okay. I'm not super worried about it. I'll uh, let them all come in. Um, yeah, we're pretty much good to go on every front except for the, the one with the Maginot line. Um, I'm not super concerned. Just go on in if you guys can. I'm not super. I'm really not concerned at all. War with France. I knew that auto bypass as we were currently trying to do integrate war economies. So that'll be really good for us. And do that too. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You guys are gone. Um, you guys head through here. Do the best you can. Invade Belgium. Uh, you guys just as well. Doesn't really matter to me. Three, two, one. Let's go now. Cool. Oh. Yeah, that's good too. Thank you. Go ahead and join the allies. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, let the subs go. Do do some of that. And right now, do this as well. It's fine. Okay, go and repair if you have to. I guess I forgot to put some planes here as well. Small planes or there you go. Not really that great, but whatever. Yeah, just kind of blitz through them. These guys are all in circle, which is nice. They're not that. They're not that strong. And in 1939, grab some more fuel, because my god, we're going to need it. He's killing them off. They definitely want to leave with the armor. Leave is ours. Very good, very good, very good. And go in, 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 in. As fast as you possibly can at this point. Um. Oh, Luxembourg as well. Forgot about them. There you go. Goodbye. Artillery only, Luxembourg? Well, we'll see. Uh, other tanks just keep moving on. And we have eight tank divisions, which is pretty nice overall. Uh, you guys go down here as fast as you can. Ah, and get war cuttings would be nice. Um, uh, Malta Rube Trap Pack, we could, but I don't think it'd be really worth it, in all honesty. So, uh, let's just go next. What's next over here? Ah, more organization recovery rate, yes, please. Oh boy. Very nice. Ah, Romania and Hungary accept economic integration. The Romanian government informs us that they accept our proposals as well as Hungarian government for the integration of our war economies. They eagerly wait our guidance so that they may model their military and our template of success. Their tutelage, we under our tutelage, their armies will swell. You did full. Yep, we're good. Wow, we just went so far. You know what? Just go. Just, can you just go to Paris. Yep. There you go. Fall of Paris. Ooh, some convoys. Let's see more hours. Hey, that's a good Nice. Drop in France. Our victory in France is nearly complete. The French government has asked for an armistice, and our diplomats have prepared terms which they have agreed to. They're taking control of southern France while we are to occupy the, the rest. Well, we're not really there being historical, because I did give Slovakia to Hungary. Vichy France? Um. Gains national spirit, occupation cost. No, Germany will conquer all. Nah, I prefer map painting. Maybe the next time we do this, if you remind me, um. I won't take as many, as much paper maybe. I don't know, let's see. Let's do that. Let's do that. That should be all look really good. We'll just do whatever we need to. The flight of Rudolf Hess. Deputy of uh, Rudolf Hess uh, was arrested by Home Guard soldiers in Scotland yesterday after parachuting from a heavy fighter. An accomplished pilot, he barely he apparently flew alone across the North Sea, taking care to stay out of radar range before veering west towards Britain. Has appears to have taken upon himself to negotiate a peace treaty between Britain and Germany, although Berlin has denounced him as a madman. He has been stripped of all his potential uh, political offices. British authorities have not been available for the comment. 
Vasen, which I never, I never understood that why he did that. And it's still a mystery, I think, to this day as well. I could be wrong, but it's never made sense. Why would he do that? And then you get into conspiracy theories about him, which are always fun to get into. Ooh, my boys are sunk. Not shocked, bruh. All right, and we'll focus on the Balkans next, as we should. Goodbye. More divisions. Very nice. Um, we already have that. I'm actually gonna throw us. Oh, we'll see what we get later. Um, you guys here, do this. Get ready for these guys over here. Anything else? Yes. Planes, whatnot. Ah, yes. Oh, these subs. And we will try to naval invade as well if we possibly can. Question of Yugoslavia. Now he's standing supreme in Europe. France was uh, long the foundation of stability in southeastern Europe, but now the entire area is up for grabs. We can pull all the nations there in our orbit with no one left to stop us. I assume they tell the Yugoslavians that they have to make a choice. If they stand with us or they will be swept away. What else can we go to war with? Ah, Yugoslavia. German pressure is fine. Get ready to go. Um, good working conditions? Sure, why not? We're gonna dismantle the lines because I never do these. But I want to wait till later. Give Himmler field command. Sure. Clean the Ge get to German Reich. Foreign volunteers. Uh, seems alright for now. War bonds. We're doing alright. I'm not super concerned. Let's keep building ourselves up more, 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 more. Vessel Ubung. Reinstate Luxembourg and also Sarain. With a successful conquest of historically German areas, we can now begin the process of their integration into the German Reich. The populations must be allowed to do the patriotic duty for the fatherland. Absolutely. We've been embargoed by America, Soviet. So let's take out Yugoslavia first and then we'll take out uh, more nations. Probably the UK, hopefully. But you never know. Ah, there we go, war bonds, yes. Join the Allies, but I don't think anyone really is going to give a crap. Our tanks are not bad. These guys are pretty combo with, with at least one thing of medium tanks. Armor is pretty decent. 45.9 is not bad. Uh, I don't really want to call you in because I don't want to give you war score participation, but whatever. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at those convoys. Oh, please get more. Belgrade. Let's up take him out. Why not? There we go. Ah, uh, and there it goes, Yugoslavia. Italy sends military support, why not? The Italians want to support us in a new war effort and send some equipment. It's a rather small ship, but they, any aid is, of course, ex is accepted. How many divisions I got? A good amount of manpower, lots of divisions over here. Can we go to war How long would that take to drink? It's not bad. We get Mamel from them. Um, honestly, would using just tanks work? Maybe, maybe not. In the meantime, how many medium tanks do we have? We have 500 some. Alright. Is that an optimal division? Honestly, probably not. But that's okay. Oh, actually, we do definitely need to get these guys. Good, good, good. Convoys go bye bye. Here's a sea wolf, which is nice. And there we go, too. Nice. Excavation, 1940. Gonna grab 1940 subs for now as well. Lithuanian sovereignty. We need more divisions as well. Let's go with eight. Manpower's looking fine. Garrison should be looking fine as well. Let's get an intelligence agency too. The Abwehr is a very nice organization. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Keep sinking everything they have. Fate them into us if we possibly can. Just go in as well. It doesn't matter at this point. Could we go to war with them and cut them all off? Bargo by Sweden. Well. Their choice, military police would be very nice as well. Mm, destroyers are okay. Super heavy battleships? Yes, please. That's gonna take forever to build, and we're probably never gonna build it, but whatever. And. Better cruiser holes, maybe level two, two, faster, better, armor, armor, better that. Rapid fire guns, no. Medium batteries, there you go. Um, torpedoes are okay. Replace that, uh, actually, you know what, can we replace that with 
this and grab some of that. There you go. There you go. We definitely need some chromium though, but whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Not bad. Let's see what we can do over here too. These guys are definitely gonna struggle a little bit, but that's okay. Division for division, we are doing okay. We get count us. There you go. Division is completely encircled. Nice. As it is to be expected. See how There you go. Beautiful. Did not expect anything but anything less than that. Okay, might as well just go in. Nice, nice, nice. It's almost 1940. Grab more research speed. That'd be delightful. And there go the Danes. As is expected. Nice. They're really sending a lot of combos through here. So casualty so far. Less than 50,000. But roughly 50,000. Wow. They lost against a lot of these guys. Oh, wow. They're just like just cherry attacking a whole bunch. They're doing so well in Africa, but that's okay. Um. Doing pretty darn well so far. They don't lost a lot much of us. We just capitulated them so freaking fast. All right, so that's the case. And you guys up here, but not really because you guys. We're gonna invade if we can. One, two, three. Dover. Two, three, two. Go. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. 10. Cherbourg, Portsmouth, we'll see what happens, especially if we reintegrate Luxembourg and Alsace Lorraine. And we're going to be a friend of Japan. We've long had a fruitful relationship with China, but our ambitions might be better served by instead of aligning with our country of warrior culture. Japan even means throwing China to the wall. Naval rearmament. The Anglo German naval agreement was secured in 1935, allows us to expand our navy greatly. We should spare no effort in doing so. And now, everybody, as you can see, we are a little bit landed already here in uh, the UK. Yeah, that's what we call it, the UK. Yep, we call it the UK for now. Well, until we're done with it, of course, but, you know, whatever. Um, in the meantime, the rest of y'all have done really good. Um, you know what, let them do what they need to. Um, yeah, we just name invaded. I mean, it's really easy. I mean, we have a little... Do we have air superiority here? We don't. They they do. So I just put my guys on naval invasion support, and we just kind of showed up. Makes it super easy. I love it. Who's a major power here, anyways? The UK, is that it? Fall of London. Nice. Get those tanks in there, and then we'll be really good. In the meantime, you guys just help, like, combo defense. You know, your normal stuff. Uh, uh, they're trying to bomb us, but they won't be able to bomb us for a while just because, like, you can put this back on. Um, the more air bases we take, I mean, the faster we can kill them off, so. Getting this area too would be nice as well. There you go. Let you guys move very quickly. Good. Yeah, this is not bad. Feel refining? Sure. Why not? After this, I guess in the next episode we'll probably take out uh, Soviets, really. Because why not? Will it be as easy? Probably not, but you know, you never know. Infantry. There you go. Henrici. Mm, and go scavenger, why not? It'd be a scavenger type of guy. Yeah, these tanks are very strong. The planes... Do we have air superiority up here? Sort of do, yeah. Oh, oh you, I didn't even put you on mission. Oh, shnikes. Yeah, yeah overall, like, uh, these are still most... These are all still literally the base planes that we start with. Basic naval bomber frames, and this is what the AI uses that we started with. I didn't even edit any of these stuff. Close air support, doing great. Basic small airplane fighter. I'd probably throw in more, four, four more light machine guns and a faster engine if possible, but... This is literally all just base, base game stuff. Like, I'm not editing anything. And we already capitulated the allies. Go freaking figure. Um, of course, we have to share a lot of stuff with... How do they get more score than us? What the heck? Are you freaking kidding me, bro? That's not cool. Um, we might kick him out of the faction and take him over. Because I do want that Navy. Oh, God. Ooh, that wouldn't be very good. Having the UK the UK Navy under us would be nice. Uh, early heavy ship hull. I mean, I'd rather make good stuff anyways. What do you guys have here? Converted... I really want the ships, but honestly, 
Mm, I'd rather just take territory. We could liberate a puppet, change government, but... I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take out Canada so we can go to war with America, too. Maybe I'll take out America first. Before... We take out... The... Soviets. There's an idea. Um... Of course, I want to take as much as we possibly can here as well. Uh, score. I'll give them more of Africa. Yeah, there you go. Bro, why did you take that? Why did you take that? I'm glad we got all of Canada at the very least, though. So. Bro. At least you shouldn't be taking it too hard to take out, so. Let's at least take that part and start taking all of this as well. Oh, these. Is it Iceland? Yes, we yeah, sort of did. Why do they take Northern Ireland? I don't understand the AI man. Ah, oh, they took all this stuff too. There you go. Bro! You did not fight and die for this. Hmm. Could end up in, in South Africa? We'll see. Uh, oh, the Raj? Oh, Jesus. Ooh, but the Dutch East Indies too. Mm -hmm. Getting the Raj wouldn't be bad. I guess station geyser. This would be good for rubber, but the Raj for manpower maybe. We got the score for it for now. Oh my god. What is the AI trying to do here? Bruh. Do they have that as a core? You can have that then. Um. Oh, it's gonna look so ugly. Oh, it's probably the Raj stuff. That's fine. This beast deal is very wonky. Uh, I'd rather have this. Oh crap, I should not take that off. Bro, this is gonna look so bad. Can I just like get all the score for Navy stuff? No, probably not. Or do they not care in the end? Do they really seriously not care? Oh my god, that would take forever to do. This is disgusting. And they should be the AI should be ashamed. Why? I'm gonna kill Italy. I have to. How many divisions does America have? Oh, we could kill them off. We could definitely kill them off, probably. It's gonna ruin us if they single out convoys, but you never know, but we'll probably get ready for that in the next episode. Because I want to make sure we do this and we really take out New England. If we can take out New England, I mean, that's pretty much over for them. I want you to pile drive from here to New York City, basically. Uh, but other than that, I think we'll end it pretty much there. Not looking too bad. And we'll I'll also form some... Uh, oh, Leningrad, Stalingrad, whatever. Some of the groups such as uh, Rex Commissariats, like this one. To improve the use of local resources, industry, and manpower, we should look into establishing quasi-autonomous subject governments in our conquered territory. So, that'd be great! And second Vienna word, Transylvania's Hungarian majority should rally the long for friends in Hungary. However, it's hard to say how the Romanian regime and people react to this demand, but we're looking pretty good. Way bigger than we, we really should be, but, you know, whatever. Oh my god, we got the entire... Is this the entire British fleet? Oh my god, what is this? Whoa! Look at all these veterans. Good god. What is this? Nice! Shove you all together then.
screw it, why not, right? But hey, if you enjoyed the the, the, the first episode, Jesus Christ, uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and see you tomorrow to see what else we can do with the good old Reich as we've taken chunks of India and Africa and North America. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!